Okay, we are back on. Hello, Internet. Jimmy back here. Late night here. I am going over the uh, the laptop here, looking at a few channels and YouTubers. And uh, this is my. Uh, I guess this could be like a response episode. A lot of people they do uh, uh, reply videos. Sometimes I write comments or whatever. But I'd rather just talk to my own camera. You know, fuck that. It's uh, we live in the world of uh, video, video, responsing and chatting and shit. So, um, a couple a couple of YouTubers I'm gonna talk about today. Uh, probably more random shit. We'll see. I'm just testing out my gear, camera, lights, and shit here. So, all right. Um, first YouTuber. Uh, one of my favorite ones. I saw. I just subscribed to her channel today, but I played like two or three of her videos before. Uh, Rachel Anderson on YouTube, she got a, uh, she's, uh, she got a popular video called about why I like black guys or why white girls like black guys or some shit. Let me go to her channel right now, actually, since I'm on the thing. I just played, uh, whatever the most recent clip was. It was called Stereotypes of White Women Who Date Black Men, and I learned today on the internet that girls who wear hoop circle earrings they like black guys so i'm just like i didn't know that that's what i've been doing wrong all these years <laughs> i just have to look for the one with fucking hoops <laughs> but <laughs> i don't know how valid the stereotype is but i'm surely going to test it out or whatever uh but yeah man check out her channel rachel anderson um i actually i don't really her most popular video is about uh why white girls like black guys or some shit. But I actually replied to her about some other video called My Racist Father. Um, she's just telling her stories about her dad and shit. And I'm, got, I'm going to do kind of a follow-up episode for that myself about my family growing up in a black family and whatever. It's pretty much the inverse of what she experiences or whatever, but with a few twists, you know, because shit's different from household to household. But. Uh, I can actually go do that today, why not? Fuck it. Alright, so Rachel Anderson on this and a couple other responses. Who's next on this little tab here? Uh, a big ups, one of my one of my favorite YouTubers. I think his name is James, I'm not sure. But this channel is called Be Good 4000. It's uh it's a narcissistic personality disorder channel with a lot of like cartoons and animations and uh shit but it's it's pretty good it's like it's like the guy uses text to speech or some robot voice or some shit but uh it's very well written and i play it you know it's part of my playlist or whatever so good shit be good 4000 and what else have i played this day growth after abuse jennifer jones or jenkins or something like that i think but the channel's called Growth After Abuse, same shit, uh, NPD videos and whatever. Uh, I just like her content. It's, it's good shit. Um, same shit, Sasha Sloan. Who else is on the playlist? Yeah, I really like Sasha Sloan shit. And uh, let's see, what else we got here? Lots of cool shit on here. All right. Oh, okay. Responses. Oh, I, know. I, I forgot about getting into this on the last show. Um, there, there was, there's a cat, dude, uh, a popular podcaster, black guy, uh, solo something, so, solo, solo TV 84 and solo 3B or some shit. The nigga's got like a couple channels like me. And, uh, I, I actually played about three hours of this guy's podcast because I don't, I don't watch television, believe it or not. It's just, I haven't in like almost 10 years. So YouTube and uh, podcast and, you know, I'm just not really a screen watcher. So I just play shit on my uh, Bluetooth speakers all the time, basically. I, I, I prefer to play audiobooks, lectures, rather than music most of the time. So anyway, I'm playing Dude's channel and uh, it's pretty good shit. He's, he's talking about, uh, this topic called MGTOW, M-G-T-O-W, 
It stands for men, men going their own way or whatever. He's got a bunch of videos on it. I studied the topic some more. Um, cool shit. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about dude because I, I wrote this guy personally. This Solo TV 84 calls himself uh, Sol Solomon Jones, I believe it was. And uh, I'm only saying your name right now, bro, since you're going to play it back right now. It's like I emailed this guy privately and told him, hey, this is shitty. I played your shows like uh, for a couple of hours today. I really enjoyed them. And I'd like to put links to your channel and stuff in the members area of my other sites or whatever. I have other channels that have like upwards of like 100 million views and shit and whatever. You know, they're, they're like in the adult arena or whatever. But it's still, it's still viewers. It's still, his content's good enough that I thought that hey man, maybe I should put your stuff in front of some more eyeballs just to say thanks, whatever, and whatever. And uh, strangely enough, the guy didn't write me back, but like I played his show like a week later or something like that, and the guy's talking shit about me on the show saying, I wish I could find the episode, you know, I hope he plays it back, but he's saying on his own show like, oh, this porno guy, he wrote me, and what are you, you're crazy man, and I'm, I'm playing this, this guy through the speakers of the house here, and I'm like, this guy's talking about me. I'm like, dude, I give, I give you praise in private, and you criticize me publicly? Like, what the fuck kind of shit is that? And what do you have against pornography? This guy's got shit on his own page about Mia Khalifa, porn star girl, and like porn, 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 and anime and shit, which is all cool, but I'm like, why are you Joan and you're making fun of me? You, you're like making fun of the way that I make a living and you think you're better than me or something? You, you, dude, just, this is just like a real, what do they call it, an internet chin check or some shit? Like, why are you trying to reject people who wanted to help you? You think I don't know people? You think I don't have traffic? You think I'm just like talking shit just because this channel has fucking two motherfuckers that watch it or something? It's like the internet is big and the world is a big place and I'm like maybe I could help this guy expose his ideas to some other people and I don't know if he sells shit or whatever but whatever. I wasn't asking for anything in return for this guy just saying hey thank you man I'll put up some links. Now I'm like yoink. This motherfucker dude. But, you know, you, you make your own traffic, good luck with your own internet thing or whatever. I'm sure you probably know what you're doing, but, you know, why, why would you reject a helping hand, dude? Fuck. Go tell your people to buy bitcoins and shit, you know, and it's, <laughs> you know, whatever. But regardless, okay, so that was the other YouTuber. Um, anybody else here? I don't have, like, a going, like, fucking hit list of people talking shit, but the internet abounds with people that just shit talk and they don't realize that people are real motherfuckers, you know, and hi, you know, whatever, and you don't ever know what, other, what shit that other people own or do or et cetera. It's like, if you knew how much reach I had, you probably wouldn't fuck with me. But I'm not the kind of motherfucker that's always like, oh, I do this, this, and I control this, that, and the other. You know, it's, you can believe that I only have like two or three followers if you like, it's fine. So anyway, that's, uh, what else, dude? Uh, going through the channels here. Lots of motherfuckers I could talk about and will be talking about. Just don't have the time today. All right, what else, what else? Favorite YouTubers. Hmm. All right, so I guess that's going to be it. Sorry, sorry for reading my screen for a minute here. Uh, yeah, uh, but you know, there's no time limits on this show. So we're going to uh, let me cut the file, stop, pause, and we're going to start the topic of today's show, which was about uh, the opposite of what uh, Rachel Anderson was talking about there on uh, my racist father. This is going to be like my racist black family story or whatever. Um, and yeah, black people, black families, they can be racist. I think they actually might be more so biased but like that's going to be the topic of uh, the show so cut the file it'll be the file will be called like racist black families or something <laughs> all right check the next file starting now all right oh done reset <laughs>